the scriptures talk is going to make about you a blessedness whatever stage that child happens that to a man you to attain. whose delight you. is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And God, he meditates day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. Christ must be the pillar, the foundation of every man. Do you know it's amazing? That many believers, they cannot exactly articulate their salvation experience. They just know that they were around the things of God. And eventually they migrated themselves into the system of church. And that's as far as they can know. That's very dangerous. 1 Corinthians chapter 3 from verse 10. 1 Corinthians chapter 3 from verse 10 to 11 first corinthians 3 10 according to the grace of god which is given to me paul is speaking now i say what wise master builder i have laid the foundation hmm. and another builded thereon but let every man take heed how he built it 11 he said for no other foundation can any man lay than that which is laid which is christ jesus it matters how you were introduced into the kingdom there are people who were introduced into the kingdom through giving not salvation giving they gave their way into christianity they never truly surrendered their life and received the life of god others were there through sitting and just listening to different teachings and they say you've been here for five years be a deacon then later be a pastor then later be a church member it's amazing how many people have routed their ways into church and into spirituality in fact others started as a switch from tradition and christianity small tradition here small christianity here and they were told based on their traditional beliefs that whether it's Jesus or is that deity, the only difference is that they should just make sure that God is glorified. And that was the template. So as they are born again today, they don't believe there is one God. They don't believe Jesus is the only person. And when situations press them, while Jesus is sleeping, they wake another one before he wakes up. Foundations. They will find nothing offensive in mixing Christianity and tradition all sorts of arrows in their house physical arrows not demonic arrows with charms and numbers and names written there are many people when you go to their houses you will see a bible you will see books on scientology you will see books on zodiac books on the constellation and everything and their concept of christianity listen very carefully is that god is the highest divine power just like buddha just like other gods they are transcendental masters it is just the ignorance of men that groups them into what we call religion so they say so when you come and you talk to them about jesus they say i believe in jesus and i'm, 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 I'm yes do you now believe in my own god you say no and they say oh, you, you are making a mistake they are all related it's like it's like it's like loving me and hating a jimmy or loving we are all the same family and that's not true impossible there is no other name under heaven 
not there is no other person there is no other name no other office under heaven given to man by which men must be saved no other name the name of a pastor cannot save a man the name of a denomination cannot save a man please listen very carefully the name of a business cannot save a man prosperity cannot save a man giving does not save a man fasting does not save a man there is no other name under heaven you will think what i'm saying is very simple until you find out many people you see when you come into a house it is only good to know who the father is there are many men in that house there are those walking there are relatives any wise man will say please who is the owner of this house so that when i wake up in the morning i'm not confused on who to greet i need to know who who has the power to drive me out of this compound i can't generalize and say just because there are able-bodied men any one of them can receive the same kind of greeting no some men are gate men it's not an insult some men are chefs they are bigger than the owner but the owner is still the owner just because the owner is humble does not mean he's not the owner you receive a life that you do not know the owner you hang around a system that you do not know the owner faulty foundations usually this kind of foundation will produce a need driven christian the entire scope of your christian experience is what to get this this is you, you hear me say it and, and and i don't i don't mean to be sarcastic for many believers the only purpose of faith is to get things that's it every teaching of faith is taught as a mechanism to extract spiritual things or to convert spiritual things so all kinds of lusts and carnality emanate from that kind of aberrated foundation again remember we're not talking of good or bad people here we're talking about the opportunity to have received truth or otherwise there is no other name under heaven there are people the moment they were born again the next thing they were taught about was prosperity very destructive foundation you don't get someone born again and the next thing you are teaching is cars and houses no cars and houses and prosperity is important but there is a level of growth that is required for that teaching to now profit the person you don't teach anything to any believer at any time and say it does not matter the construction has to be systemic are we together now so you ask an average believer give me a rundown if i get born again mention the seven major doctrines i should focus on they can't tell you they will just say just give your life to christ find out your talent find out whether you are a musician if you're a musician join a prayer band join a um, um, worship team if you're a prayer warrior join this if you're a prophet hang around and be faithful serve the man of god one day you'll be and, and you see all these kinds of things is dangerous there are people who get born again and in less than one month they have been ordained as pastors just because of the the impact of their salvation experience they started prophesying and seeing visions and the man said this is this is a potential uh, branch pastor and the next thing oil is poured on his head now he becomes a man of god and there are gaps in his knowledge is God speaking to us? There are people who got born again and the next thing they had was love. What did they hear? Love. Not love of God. Love of fellowship, brethren, relationship, marriage. How, what kind of a teaching is that? As soon as you are born again, the next thing, instead of you to see God, you are seeing men or women and you are already calculating. 19 years you are thinking already i will have five children four children because that, i'm not pleased i'm not saying the preachers of this thing are wrong i'm just trying to arrange we're discussing growth systems are we together so instead of that individual to be pressing towards god the only thing you come for prayer you come for worship you come and you are looking around who is looking at me who is a potential uh, 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 um, 
suitor who is a potential you know, all kinds of things and then you don't grow there are even people because of that kind of teaching they can't pray in tongues lest they not look fine because of the aggression that prayer brings so they pray with a a level and you see that their, their spirit man is as lean as whatever they can't receive speak and they will not speak because they are aware something has been activated that had no business being activated there are people who get born again and the next thing pressure is put on them to produce results with their faith are we together now and they don't learn that there is a law of process in spiritual growth in two weeks they want to get a car in two weeks they want to build a house in two weeks they want to start wearing suits like the men of god to prove that their faith is working and to the degree to which they bring physical results they are accredited by structures that have been set to show they are growing so many people will go so far to borrow suits borrow shoe borrow everything and bring a regalia that shows that the world is working you don't like me this night it's too early there's a lot to talk about this is just on point one It matters your spiritual foundation it matters how it was laid it matters the value you have for the world today is largely a reflection of the value the person who saved and mentored you showed you he had over the world there were people who every time you came to their office you would see them studying and it's not like you really like the word but they challenge you and you just carried your bible you know people don't buy strong concordance again people don't buy dicks ah gone are the days of dicks i mean nobody even talks dicks just find a simple clear translation and it's all right no appetite for spiritual growth your spiritual foundation is what will support you in the days that come your spiritual foundation is what will support you in the days when it looks like the word of god is not working listen carefully the bible says jesus himself speaking said the wind came the rain came on the structure and his foundation i tell you why a lot of people continue to curse god on his face lord if you are god why am i still barren if you are god why am i this why did i lose a loved one there is, I, there is no difference between loving god and not even I, I hate all of this i prayed and prayed and prayed that i will not go to the hospital but i still went lord you are not faithful something about your foundation something about god may have been wrongly taught you because let me tell you my brothers and my sisters when your foundation is solid the rains will come everything will come when it lifts you will stand stand strong and stand solid job was a man whose foundation was tested i'm not bringing a theological debate as to the basis of job's predicament but job got to a point in his life do you know what it means to lose all your children in one day comma lose all your possession in one day lose everything in one day his friends left him one friend left you you are almost dying now here is a man almost all his friends left him and then in addition to that his body was challenged with sores from head to toe and job sat down frustrated the wife frustrated the three friends came they looked at him after seven days they had a discussion and left job was left alone I wish I would tell you that life would never test your foundation. My precious people, I wish I would tell you that you will never have any cause to thank God for your stability. But you will. You will. People have lost loved ones and didn't know what to say. They checked their Bible from Genesis to Revelation and could not find a scripture that will help explain. what do you do when your life is a contrast of what is written 
what do you do when you have exhausted your obedience and everything you know to do yet the results refuse to change listen to me i teach you the power of spiritual foundations what do you do when the more you pray the more you engage it looks like darkness continues to rise what do you do when you give all that you have and yet you do not have food to eat what do you do when your enemies continue to excel and you keep going down what do you do when you pray and fast and you're a man of god who loves your people with all their heart and the church continues to reduce what do you do when you raise your children with the word of god you teach them the ways of god and then they become teenagers and go haywire you were not a rebel you taught them well you prayed for them you laid hands on them you fasted but every one of them made their choice i've chosen my life and god is not part of the choice and society looks at you and they say oh dear you are a failed father you are a failed mother you are a failed pastor what do you do when men cannot understand what is happening in your life what do you do when you cannot understand what is happening in your life listen very carefully i show you the way of strength foundations this is where men are separated from boys it's not the building it's the foundation what do you do when you have fasted again and again and again and again and again and you cannot take in every man of god has prayed for you joshua selman prayed for you every man of god you honor prayed for you prophecies continue to come months become years years become decades and not one child will come hmm. though he slay me yet will i trust him though he slay me i will never curse him with my mouth i show you how to be solid many believers are weak at everything that shakes them they curse god curse men of god curse christianity a pastor gets ordained in ministry with the hope that he will receive fifty thousand or hundred thousand as support from missionaries and something happens and he does not receive that support after four five years he tells his wife look it was never ministry remember my plan was to start a poultry it's just that they called me and said let me come and work for god and now since this salary is not coming god you and your scam get out of my life they leave god didn't it happen to the disciples jesus is gone on the cross they didn't hear anything again peter said i go a fishing the rest say we go with you let's go let's go back and leave this guy When Joseph was in that prison, sitting quietly, meditating on his dream and watching the noisemakers, everybody explaining why he entered the prison. I came here because I stole. I came here because I annoyed the king. I didn't make his grape juice well and he drove me into this prison. And Joseph sits down. What happens when your innocence takes you to prison? innocence will not always take you to the throne ask mandela it may always take you to the prison what happens when you obeyed god and gave that house god said sow the house you had god you sold the house and thought in two months a blessing will come in five years you are still roaming around squatting and you have become a testimony you have become an example to warn many believers Every time they are talking about not hearing God, you are the sample they use. They say, don't be confused and don't subject yourself to divination like this man. Whereas you are there and you say, God, didn't you speak? And that's the only time you hear him. I spoke. So what else? Oh God, he doesn't see a reason to talk. I've taught you that when God is silent, he's speaking. foundations are powerful the days that come will require men and women not just men who have results but men who have foundation if your strength is in your car your certificate your ministry koinonia 
Joshua Selman connections you will never be able to stand a point will come in your life you will find out that everything that is not Jesus is like a shadow it's true it's difficult the deception of things can make you think they can stand with him a time will come when you sit down and um, you look at life from the eyes of an elder and you say in this life the only thing that matters of reading many books there is no end and much study is a weariness to the soul there is no other foundation than Christ I know he will bless me but what happens if he does not bless me I know he gives children but what happens if his child does not come I know he gives prosperity but what happens if I do not prosper I trusted him and I saw a vision that my uncle would not die even when my uncle died I was sleeping and I saw his spirit and I saw that he would come back to life and I came back with a group of prayer warriors you may be thinking and we prayed for him and he did not come back to life what happens when it looks like you have episodes of negative events things that negate scripture do you have the stamina to still trust god or will you get distracted and your entire life is now trusting god for answers that you get to a point where you are so matured and you say lord i'm never going to discuss these issues my love for you is bigger than them i trust you so much let's continue the training as if they are not in the midst of fire and god says what kind of brand are you you have captured my heart consume my heart with your love hey you have captured my heart consume my heart with your love sing it from the depth of your heart lord you have captured my heart consume my heart with your love hallelujah that a time comes when all your notebooks have become full and not one of what god said has come to pass you are just writing he keeps waking you every night as if he's fulfilling everything keep writing in that book you wrote that you should have gone to your permanent site in that book you wrote that you should have had 500 members and after five ten years you still have 70 members you have gone for every conference you are not a rebel your heart is opened what happens everybody say foundation this is it the strength of your foundation while the winds blow heaven is watching let's see what happens and all of a sudden they see the prayer warrior turn to god and say lord let me tell you i really hate you take this from me make sure the angels take it to the throne room i hate you get out of my life and let me have my life back god says i love you but i respect your will you've made your choice ah but there are others with no results you say lord you say i don't have results are you not everything every other thing is an addition i cannot cry when i have you because you are everything to me listen you must get to a point where this is no longer a sermon but it is true I vowed a vow in my life that I will never get to a point in my life where I will be offended in God. I will never get to a point in my life where results or no results control my hunger and my love for God. No. Too small a reason. 
if God never blesses me in this life again I owe him my allegiance and my love forever can I tell you this you may not have anything human beings call success truly speaking let me tell you if you have Jesus you really have everything it's just that the world may not see it that way but you are rich in Christ this is what I've learned in my little life I've seen the vanity of anything at all life is truly like a vapor five minutes without your breath you are in a coffin your estate is still standing but you are gone every other thing is still standing but you are gone gone and gone for good the Lord wants to correct foundations who told you that if God does not bless you he is not God where did you learn that from whoever told you that the primary reason to serve God is so that you will get a husband and a wife and a breakthrough and a job I'm not saying it's wrong but whoever told you that God works with people based on contract Lord I want to work for you but here is my condition make sure my wife comes before December make sure my husband comes before January make sure my appointment letter comes by next week except you are not God it doesn't come and God says, uh -uh, you've gone too far God remains God doesn't matter what happens did you hear what I said God remains God it doesn't matter what happens he said let God be true and all men and all situations liars can you lift your voice where you are and say Lord may I never leave you for anything in this life let nothing in this life bring me to a point where I call you unfaithful let nothing in this life bring me to a point where I have reasons to probe your integrity not my results not my failures not my limitations too small a reason you stand in majesty in a class all by yourself my results have no authorization to validate your integrity and your majesty if the church is never built you are still god if the child never comes you are still god listen to me i show you how to stand on a foundation that no power no cost no yoke can stand against that i find you faithful oh god whether i understand what is happening in my life or not i don't know why my father died i don't know why i lost my mother i don't even know why my pastor died he was coming back from a crusade why will a man of god die but i still count you faithful i don't know what to say Lord, you seem so far away, a million miles on what it is today. And though I haven't lost my faith, I must confess right now that it's hard for me to pray. God knows you are human, brothers and sisters. But I don't know what to say I don't know where to start But as you give the grace With all that's in my heart I will seek And I will pray Even in my darkest hour Through the sorrow and the pain I will seek and I will pray I lift my hands to honor you Because your word is true Can you line up all your disappointments To be your audience And then still praise God in the midst of them 
can you line up the house rent line up the lack of job the lack of a child you are not dancing for a miracle is your testimony you are telling life i am this grounded i am this grounded mm. i am this grounded no food to eat but i am this grounded and satan comes to stand close to you like the wife of job and say why don't you just curse god of what use is being a worker in the house of god when god will keep passing you and blessing strangers when they will come for miracle service and receive and go back and you are still a worker and he's acting as if he's not seeing you listen listen many believers are not taught that when things don't work and you believe god it is also faith faith is not only when results come sometimes faith is why you stand when results don't come listen to me when jesus hung upon that cross in spite of the pain on his hand it took strength and stamina to remain there the pain did not leave him because he was the son of god because many believers have not been taught that sometimes listen to me that sometimes on your path to growth the weight of what is coming on you will test your foundation like a farmer goes to a farm just because you see blisters on a farmer's hand does not mean he's not healthy it means he's hard working listen to me let your interpretation about life and the dealings of things in your life be corrected tonight because there are many of you who are calling god names whereas heaven is clapping for you earth is calling you faithless whereas heaven is standing at an attention and say this young lady lost four people in four months and she's still waking up as usual to pray whereas some ignorant person will see you somewhere and say where is your faith that four people are dying don't get me wrong i believe in the blessings of god but believers must be taught that the solidity the stability of your foundation is tested when things don't work your way and you still call him faithful i heard of a couple not not a recent story from their wedding happy they were on their way to the reception and a truck just came and hit them and that's how the husband died with his bow tie right there it doesn't matter whether it's a cause or it's a charm or it's an arrow he's dead what does such a bride do you will think people will come to comfort her until you start hearing that she's a witch that's what people will say imagine adding on that precious lady's pain instead of coming to comfort her they'll say we've always known this lady has killed her son Aye. life can be cruel if you don't know your god and you cannot stand alone and praise him alone if you still need a keyboard and you still need a bass guitar and you still need a music director your foundation is small there are times that your pain becomes a writer and it will write songs that only you can understand songs that are not supposed to make sense to anybody except you uniquely designed to praise god through your pain i told god there is nothing in life that will ever come to me that will make me look at god and say god why kai many people see the things that we do and they think it's because of the result god has brought today no the results did not come in one day
can you love God when you don't understand him can you love God when you don't hear him were you taught that a believer is not just one who receives results sometimes a believer is one who stands not just while he's waiting for results read hebrews 11 some died without receiving the promise if you are just going to wait 30 years it will be okay but there are people who waited till they died and the bible added them and called them elders who obtained what did they obtain now because they died without receiving the promise we need to teach a generation that God is not an ATM we need to teach a generation that God is not a politician who is just a job giver remember I'm teaching on growth there are other aspects coming we need to teach a generation that God is not just some some lobbyist no he's God in the beginning God at the end of your life if I have And people just look at them when people testify and we see what they are saying they got i got a new job this is the certificate we clap and we somebody will help you and roll on the ground for your own sake but when people get say oh, i was born again i gave my life to jesus christ people just say oh congratulations so you go and join the queue of, and know what we are be going through There are many questions in your mind now the answer is what you are hearing if you really love god beyond certain levels there will be need to ask that question faithful and true faithful and true is the reason why many preachers cannot go to funerals what are they going to say? What happens when you have conducted a miracle service? And right after that, someone dies. And you are asked to come and greet the people. Now you... And they say, Pastor, why did this man die? God is faithful, Lord. Even when you do not have answers, God is greater. God is faithful. He's mighty. What I go through or do not go through should never ever be a reason to question his faithfulness. Please sit down. Your foundation. Your foundation. Second Timothy chapter 2 and verse 19. Let's tie up this first point. Just the A part, 2 Timothy chapter 2 and verse 19. It says, nevertheless, the foundation of God does what? Standard sure. Nevertheless, the foundation of God standard sure. Hmm. So when you build on Christ, you will stand sure. Growth systems. I needed to just walk this out with us so that we don't get excited because of the other things that I'm going to be sharing and saying. And forget the fact that if your foundation is faulty, you know, let me tell you this. Let me tell you this. Please look up. Honestly speaking, I get hundreds of text messages every day from people you can imagine because of the nature of what i do people send me text messages from all around just requesting prayer or just letting me know the things happening around their lives and sometimes i use those text messages to gauge both the level of growth and the spiritual orientation of the people i am amazed 
sometimes at how how offended people can be over the matters that they think they are trusting God for a miracle for that they have not yet gotten people have sent all kinds of text messages to my phone abusing both me and God for not getting school fees see that since he's, you, you can't see him the one who has clearly said he's representing him you insult me and ask me to help and tell God that you insulted both of us just because school fees did not come there are people who they are panic and the text messages just because a child falls ill oh boy the text messages they write why is god doing this and that i'm a giver i'm a tighter why is he saying this and then later on maybe i'm in a meeting and you are not answering again you see this is the kind of thing i'm saying and god is not faithful and blah blah all for that solid when the shunammite woman's son died the prophet sent Gehazi. he said go and find out from that woman this is a child that is dead already when she met Gehazi say it's all well what did the woman say all is well let me just go and see the prophet is there an imagine no 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 don't worry these are people who have strong foundations what about Esther Hadassah I shared with you in one of the days here the king there was an emergency her man is plotting to destroy the people of God and then they are asking her should I grant anything? No, 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 king. Please take your time. I just want to prepare a banquet for you. Can you be calm under pressure? It's proof of stability. It's not just a proof of maturity. Some things are more than just age and psychology. It's a reflection of no knowledge of God. That my panic, regardless of how I go around it, makes no difference except God built a house. I will labor in vain and stroll around from pillar to post. So my soul find rest. Find rest. Like something that is missing and you found it. Find rest. Number two, let's hurry up. The excellency of your spiritual foundation is number one. Number two. Now pay attention. We finish handing over everything to the Lord. But that's not all it takes to grow. The second key, if you want to grow and grow sustainably, is you have to understand the cosmos. Please write it down. An understanding of this earth and the world system, you will never grow if you do not understand the world that you are living in the cosmos this social system it's not enough to understand god's kingdom alone you have to understand this world my god how many believers are ignorant of the cosmos we do not understand how this system works and so we cannot thrive and grow jesus prayed a prayer john chapter 17 we'll read a few scriptures here please pay attention and let's learn john chapter 17 we'll read from verse 15 to 7 to 21 15 to 21 please look up everyone it's projected this is the prayer of jesus how many of you know that when jesus prays it will be answered i pray not that thou shouldest take them out of the world but that thou shouldest keep them from the evil not from evil from the evil next verse they are not of the world even as i am not of the world uh-huh sanctify them through your truth thy word is truth next verse to 21 as thou hast sent me into the world even so i have sent them into the world for their sakes i sanctify myself that they also might be sanctified through the truth 20. neither pray i for these alone this is where you come in now but for them also which shall believe on me through their word 21. 
that they may be one as thou father art in me and i in thee that they also may be one in us that the world may believe that thou sent me jesus is praying and he's saying that father i'm keeping them in this system the same way i walk through this system their lives will be in the similitude of my experience in this system sanctify them separate them garrison them on the strength of your word your word is truth listen to me there are many things the bible says about this world the earth but the world the social sphere most believers may know god but they are ignorant about the world system and many times back to faulty foundations again we are taught that once you know god that's all and that's enough as important as that is you need to have intelligence over the world that you live in the bible tells us so many things about this cosmos this social system let's look at a few of them number one first john chapter five write down these scriptures please write all of them understanding the cosmos understanding the world system as a spiritual growth system or a, a kingdom growth system first john chapter 5 from verse 4 and 5 whatsoever is born of god overcometh the world the world again overcometh the world so the world and the system can be overcome it says and this is the victory that overcometh the world even our faith verse 5 who is he that overcometh the world but he that believeth that jesus is the son of god so the bible tells us that this system can be conquered that a man can rise above it it's an information god is giving you that regardless of how the world is you have an advantage there is a provision where the saints can rise above the grip of the world first corinthians chapter 3 and verse 18 first corinthians 3 and verse 18 please hmm. it's projected if you can see it please let's read together one to read let no man deceive himself uh-huh if any man among you seemed to be wise in this world in this world let him become a fool that he may be wise let me explain to you what he's saying that means that there is a methodology there is an approach to life as defined by the cosmos are we together now and that on the strength of your understanding their way of doing things you may believe you are wise and the bible says compared to god's dimension of wisdom it is deception so it says let him become a fool it doesn't mean to be void of knowledge and understanding it means to subscribe to another system that may make you look like a fool based on god's standard so that you will be truly wise it tells you this that the system the modus operandi of the cosmos is antichrist is against the operation of the kingdom John 14 27 John 14 27 after that we'll go to first John 3 and verse 1 John 14 27 look up please another information Jesus is giving us here please look up those outside make sure you're following he says peace now he's talking of peace here I live with you my peace I give to you not as the world giveth give i unto you it says let not your heart be troubled neither let it be afraid that means these possibilities exist for as long as you are in this world the tendency for being perturbed and being in fear is something that will continue it will attempt to haunt you but he's saying the antidote to it is that i have routed my peace in some way and i have given it unto you my peace I give unto you first john chapter 3 and verse 1 don't be tired you are learning something first john 3 and verse 1 let's read 
behold what manner of love the father had bestowed upon us that we should be called sons of god he says therefore the world knoweth us not why because it knew him not do you know what this means god is revealing to you through apostle john that influence in the world system for a believer doesn't come easy it is difficult to be known he says the world knoweth us not they will not recognize us it will it will until they exhaust their options they will not easily recognize you so you can be a christian lecturer and be the best in your department and the system will continue to ignore you until you do something that makes them to not have a choice that means every believer recognized by the cosmos it is because the cosmos did not have an option this is what he's saying jesus was doing a lot of things and they refused to acknowledge it people will return back with testimonies i'm a leper look at my hands i said forget about that guy Nic nicodemus came and said rabbi we know we have been studying we have been we've taken your miracles as a case study and we know you are a man sent from God. Why didn't they say it in the open? Behold a man sent from God. Jesus is standing with Barabbas. A thief. And they would allow Barabbas to go and continue harassing as a capon. Because of how they hated Jesus. He's giving us an information here. The information is not just that we are sons of God alone. But he's telling you that influence in the cosmos. If you are not born again and you refuse to subscribe to God's ways is easy. So do not be surprised when you are doing a lot of great things as a believer and people refuse to acknowledge you. You are the reason why this company is rising. And when it, if they have to appreciate you, they generalize it. All the staff have been hard working, you have been serious. But when a non-Christian is there, they isolate the person and so lavishly celebrate the person to offend you. Find comfort. He opened your eyes to see that the world knoweth us not. The word know there means approve, recognize, accredit, celebrate. James chapter 4 and verse 4. God is giving us wisdom. James 4 and verse 4. Look at me. Ye adulterers and adulteresses, know ye not that friendship, aha, uh -huh, He's given an information. Friendship with the world is enmity with God. Whosoever will be a friend of the world is an enemy of God. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Now, this is a, an interesting one. Don't be friends. How do you relate? Don't be friends. Friendship with the world is enmity with God. So, how do you collect your salary? how do you apply for a job how do you go for a birthday party of a business partner who is an unbeliever who you have to work together with that means when a scripture looks obviously wrong it means you have to look again are we together now the idea of friendship here listen very carefully is not relationship you must understand now he's not saying to not relate with the world friendship here he's talking of an attachment a fraternity with respect to your allegiance with respect to your values with respect to the government you submit to this is the context that james is talking about because as you will learn and you have learned here that everything multiplies on the basis of relationship many believers have erroneously carried this scripture and they have rejected every good thing in their life why because the bible talks of friendship with the world he's not saying to not love non-christians no he's not saying to not participate in non-christian activities that's not what he's saying He's talking about the fact that no matter how you relate with these people, it is important for you to understand that anything that threatens your convictions, your values, and ultimately your allegiance to God is fighting him in your life. Are we together? Two more scriptures. 
and then we'll tie this up first timothy chapter 6 7 and 8 i found this scripture and it blessed me so much first timothy 6 and then 7 and 8 we would have started from 6 but no problem we'll hurry up because of time look at this apostle paul is giving us another information about this world that we need to learn what's the information read with me for we brought nothing into this world and it is certain that we can carry nothing out of it now this is a very good information what is the information you brought nothing into this world and on your way out you are not carrying anything you found here out verse 8 and having food and raiment let us therewith be content now listen very carefully that means he's trying to tell you that while you interact with the cosmos that you should be able to prioritize prioritize your life in a way and manner that does not allow you forget that all of these things the cars and the houses is simply supposed to define your comfort within your stay are we together it's like renting a room in a hotel because you are there for one week if all of a sudden you get so obsessed with the activity of that hotel as if you are not going to leave again one week will clock and you did not even maximize the state the purpose of renting the apartment is to allow you either have a meeting or rest or do whatever you have to do so he's giving you here a mindset of contentment that comes from knowing it, it tries to give you the understanding of a pilgrim that nothing other than god is worth dying for are, are you getting the understanding here now yes so by the time people act as if they would die for money as if they would die for position as if they would die for this this is what they are violating we brought nothing there is no child that was born with an atm you came out from your mother's womb and said this is my atm with my name i brought it from heaven no nobody came with a key to any house nobody came with a mercedes-benz key out of his mother's womb no When you know this you can look at certain things in life and just say let it go and they say why for i brought nothing hmm. this is a revelation that will even help you in giving you mean you just gave everything away i brought nothing to this world if i fall down and i die today even this bible will not follow me because it didn't come with me every story was written on earth here that means the one thing i can take out of the earth i must treasure it the one thing that i can take out hmm. believers let's not live like fools we must understand the cosmos thank god for money thank god for cars and let me tell you this do do not make a mistake of thinking i'm endorsing poverty or failure far from it this teaching was designed to cause you to grow this is how we grow by being prepared to lose things nothing in this world should so possess you that you cannot lose it that is a devil and that is a cause joshua selman the lord has a need for your car let it go oh god is yours the lord has a need for your house let it go the lord has a need for koinonia let it go the foolish man was a foolish rich man for one reason he forgot that he did not bring anything he built bands and said my soul find rest not in god find rest when you find rest in prosperity you are finished already when you find rest in certificates you are finished already when you find rest in ministry in power in anointing you are finished already we brought nothing to this world please don't live your life over my dead body this 10 naira it must come out except I'm not, i will wear my father till uh -uh. that kind of mindset is the mindset of somebody who does not understand the cosmos 
when you know you brought nothing to this world then you will also know that you must make sure that by the time you are leaving this world you will live empty so why are you holding on to many things isn't it amazing that those who are really poor are the ones who are holding on to many things their hands are so full god cannot bless them most people think it's blessed people who are greedy and stingy no that you don't have the resources are proof that your hands are too full to receive from god is those who released everything he said now give me your hand since you released everything understanding the cosmos i promised you two more scripture let's hurry up john 16 33 john 16 and 33 now this is a big one believers pay attention let's read together one to read these things i have spoken to you uh-huh that in me ye might find peace you see peace again this peace is a very serious thing in the world ye shall have tribulation you went to school what does that mean whatever it is it doesn't mean peace <laughs> are we together it doesn't matter how you want to whether it's emotional whether it's prophetic whatever it is it is certainly not peace whatever it is is the opposite of what god gave you in this world you will have tribulation it says but be of good cheer he never said be of good cheer the tribulation will not come there is a system i have provided also to help you overcome you are not you are not being cheerful just because of nothing you are being cheerful because there is a system that you can route your victory out of it tribulation i don't know what i did that people don't like me i'm a nice man of god i'm a nice business i help people oh dear welcome to the world of men listen the condition to go through tribulation is that you are alive it's not even that you are successful is that you are what alive i am amazed at how many believers fret you know i've shared with you my story years ago it used to bother me a lot every time i misunderstood and every time people you know don't seem to be comfortable with me i wonder and i say oh look at i'm very sincere my heart is well meaning what is all this nonsense until i land there is a heavy price for greatness let me educate you tonight my brothers and sisters if you ever believe that just because you are sincere well-meaning nice-hearted wonderful loving soft godly and then the world will have that regard for you please wake up jesus gave us this information welcome to the world he says you, if you are in the world if you go out of it you don't need to worry about this so whilst you've been praying for long life and god answered you better learn what will happen while you are living long you will be amazed to see people who disregard you and will go out of their way to show you you are nothing welcome to the world of man you will be amazed to know how many people will look at your messages and say this is nonsense you will be amazed at how many people will see your sacrifice and say this is nonsense what is there in having three children what is there in being great what is there in a phd i thought you would think everybody will celebrate you in this life and love you no let me tell you believers learn this because you see as believers I, I hope I, am i boring you tonight please please learn this you will need it in your life you know most of us as believers we are surrounded by ourselves so there is a culture that we grow with for many years everybody is wonderful even someone who doesn't like you really likes you 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 get what i'm saying so there's nothing like anger and fight when somebody say i hate you it just means you annoyed me now we are used to that soft brotherly warmth and we take that naivety to this strange world of wolves i will we'll come to that scripture you will find out that those that are in this world are not just men 
there is a name God gave them, wolves. You study from National Geographic Channel what wolves can do. Wolves are not friends. Do you keep a wolf in your house? If another prophet was speaking, you would think maybe he drank wine like Noah or this. This is Jesus speaking. Pay attention to what I'm telling you. Because the moment believers step out of this place, you are sincere. And for the first time, you've been hearing that they hate people. Now you are seeing somebody face to face. I hate you. Period. Why, sir? This is even why I hate you again. And you call Joshua Selman and say, what is this? I thought there's anointing for favor. How is this supposed to work? Ask Mary what favor did to her. Was it not because of favor Mary got into trouble? As soon as Mary was declared to be favored of God, the first thing that hit her was a scandal. Who is the real father of this child? Is it a ghost or a rabbi? See, I'm a virgin. Virgin of where? And the Bible calls that favor. Listen and learn. You will stand in a place where they are giving bribe. Everybody is bribing and you say, no, 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 no. No, No, I love Jesus Christ. There's no collecting bribe. And because of that, someone will look at you face to face and say, you irritate me. Tribulation. Everybody loves you because you are like them. Make money. Get a job. Bring a new car and dance around and say brothers and sisters this is the faithfulness of god the year of extraordinary fruitfulness we are just in may by next week you will find out that there is now a problem with your shoe there is now a problem with your worship have you been taught that everybody should not like you have you been taught that it is okay to be controversial have you been taught that just because you are not loved by all just because there are people who trivialize your value it does not mean you are valueless learn this and be strong on time before ignorance crushes you many people will give up their success because of what people are saying and it's the same people that will run and carry it and say thank you it was a strategy i was hoping you would drop it so i will pick it Do you know how many people will continue to pray for you to fail when you are successful? They may not be Christians. They stand like the Magi looking at the stars, waiting for the report of your failure. Hi. This is the world we live in. Oh, Jesus is teaching here. Look at how Jesus is celebrated on a crusade ground. And the next thing he enters a city and people are looking at him. You mean you've not had that leper? This is the guy that healed him. So what? I remember years ago. I don't know if you can remember it, Jimmy. I went for a meeting in Congo. And that was when God really started celebrating me. Everybody was just discerning the grace. And this thing was just walking. Everywhere I would go to, people would celebrate me, discern the grace of God, and sincerely honor me. And I went for a meeting in Congo. And I got there, and the people didn't even know who the guy was, really. And one guy just came. I remember one funny guy just came and just pushed me like that. And I just stood, I was looking at him. He may not remember, but Jimmy was, he looked at the guy. Later on, he was passing a comment about it. I said, ah, can you imagine that this guy just came and was pushed? It was later, they said, ah, that's the Joshua Selman. He was a ah, man of God, this and that and that. Is it not amazing that you are used to being celebrated until you get somewhere, they'll say, bros, shift. <laughs> and you're like, Whereas somebody say, my daddy, my, my, my way maker, my, my miracle worker. You think everybody will call you king of kings until you get to places where they will not call you king of kings. They will call you Beelzebub and they will say it to your face. If you don't know this about the world, you will die of heart attack. You will hate success because the burden will be too much. You will say, I was better off by myself. Hallelujah.
<laughs> now let me tell you the funny part there are people who will now be educated on who you are and say so what you would think people would just know that oh this is pastor alpha this one oh sorry you are the one i've been here and say so what well how, how did you bring bread for me what what did you i beg please i've had the privilege of meeting certain great men and women of god around the airport and a few times especially on my personal trips i've met with them and i've tried to look for a seat just to come and greet them and i've been surprised that some of those who were with them in maybe the lodge or wherever did not even recognize them and can push them and say everything and that person and you sometimes you can see the offense you are like ah, you don't watch tv again you don't know me i don't know you please i'm looking for my let it not surprise you my brothers and my sisters when people disregard you it is part of the things you should expect walking in the world don't carry a celebrity mindset and expect everybody to clap for you you will meet somebody one day who will look at you and rubbish you head to toe and if you do not have your intrinsic worth that is a derivative of who you know god has made you to be you may not bless people again growth systems is someone growing one last scripture matthew chapter 10 and verse 16 matthew chapter 10 and verse 16 you will thank me for the things that you now learn you will thank me sincerely not today if you thank me today you do understand what i said you will thank me when you will need that light in the night for many of you this is broad daylight just keep it in your archives the night will come when you will be the youngest manager of your corporation and you will need this message you will play it again and cry and say lord thank you for preparing me behold now this one he, he now didn't say you are in the world he said i send you forth as sheep in the midst of wolves eat sheep they don't relate they eat sheep when wolves see a sheep they would tear it into pieces because you are a sheep also be a dove be wise as serpents harmless as doves all this is because you are a sheep oh. because you are a sheep become a snake too and become a dove this is an advice being a serpent you are not a serpent you are not a dove borrow the quality of a serpent and a dove to make you a, an effective sheep when a sheep must become a serpent and a dove to survive it's a serious matter jesus is advising you hmm. i send you forth as sheep but your being efficient as a sheep will require you to be both a serpent and a dove. Sila. Hmm. You mean I must go that far to be a sheep? I must first be a serpent? Then I become a dove? Yes, sir all because my enemy is a wolf so it takes being a serpent and a dove to overcome a wolf it doesn't take just knowing how to run notice that the serpent is slow the dove is fast all of them are required the serpent looks corny intelligent skill the dove is very innocent many times naive the purity of conscience and yet the serpent is not ignorant at all serpents don't chase you they would disguise you come near they hit you with their venom and let you to die they just watch where you die and then they slowly come to you and swallow you they make sure that they swallow you where they can hide for a long time till you digest you never 
catch them you won't see the trace they don't bring blood out of you there is no trace there is no evidence other animals will eat and leave the bones you can trace it back to the mouth and catch him and say you are the one who ate this a serpent will finish you and you will not see anything there and jesus said be it to survive whoever taught you that just because you are born again living in the cosmos will just require you to be a nice person that's why you are not promoted in your office because you are a sheep alone And you stood up before your boss and said, I'm a Christian. I won't collect bribe. I, was, I stand for Jesus. You are right. But you are not a serpent. You are out. There was a way to have done it. And you called it boldness. But it was not the wisdom that was required. There are many believers who have done what they believe to be zeal. They have, believed, they have done many things that looks like standing for Christ. I remember I had a friend years ago. We were on our way going to Joss. Very zealous, funny friend. And then from nowhere, and they were non-Christians. You know what I'm talking about. Real fanatics in that car that can almost slaughter you in a moment. And we were somewhere there and I was just praying that we arrive safely. And this my friend who is a sheep that cannot be a serpent just shouted praise the lord and then the gentleman began to teach and the way he preached he began to call you know the leader of that religion and all of that and he called this and was insulting the person and insulting and saying a lot of things ah there was silence in that car i knew i started thinking of which mystery i know what is the mystery of exemption what is what is the key how did how did how did daniel escape the lions then when you are a sheep without being a serpent and a dove you are in trouble do you know at the end of it sincerely i tell you the truth and i lie not if i'm joking i'll tell you i'm joking they were almost going to pack us in a mosque to slaughter us the driver started chanting something in anger and someone seated in the car too started chanting in anger it's like something you you know what i'm talking about this is an insult this is that and he does not even understand how sir and then when he finished all that sermon he said i have a brother here who will round up with closing prayer me closing prayer hallelujah look up please not every death is dying for christ some deaths are the death of a sheep that cannot be a serpent it took the grace of god for us to arrive just in peace and i told myself i will never travel with this guy again I was not afraid of death. It was you I was seeing. Who would teach you? <laughs> Hallelujah. How many missionaries should not have died except for the way they approach their sheephood? There are people who just get up and do things anyhow. Listen you must understand the cosmos to grow many of us know god but we do not know this system so the diplomacy to navigate this system we do not have it everybody say understanding the world system number three our time is gone goodness i hope you are still following me the first is your foundation second is understanding the world system the third is you must understand value i will rush this we've dealt with this i want to be able to reach the fourth one understanding value please look up 
if you want to grow spiritually and otherwise in this world you must understand that your growth your excelling will be based on your value and your value is divided into two the first is your virtue and then second your skill if all you have is education listen carefully if all you have is certificate and you do not have character you will not rise in this kingdom there are many educated people who will never rise to managerial levels because they lack virtue they have transactable skills but they do not have virtue we have dealt with this extensively in this house so i'm not going to dwell so much maybe let's just look at two scriptures very quickly number one you know galatians 5 22 you just write that then let's read colossians chapter 3 please from verse 12 colossians chapter 3 i really want us to read put on therefore okay and then please prepare first kings 7 put on therefore look up everybody as the elect of god holy and beloved bowels of mercy kindness humbleness of mind meekness long suffering another word for patience next verse forbearing one another these are virtues that you need to possess to be great and to sit at the zenith the pinnacle of all that god has ordained for you if any man had a quarrel against any even as christ forgave you also do ye next verse above all this put on charity the bible calls it the bond of perfectness let's stop there character many people have degrees but they lack character you must have solid character the fruit of the spirit to be able to rise there are people today who are employed because of their degrees but promoted because of their character when everybody has what you have your character is what distinguishes you it may be one of the reasons why many 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 graduates do not have jobs they have the technical skills but they don't have the character that can back it you can't trust them first kings chapter 7 from verse 13 to 14 hmm. this scripture blessed me we are now talking of value in terms of skill we'll read it together 13 and 14 everybody read and king solomon sent and fetched Hiram out of Tyre 14 he was a widow's son who cares but the Bible is telling you something that the king sent for a man he started his life as a widow's son of the tribe of Naphtali and his father was a man of Tyre a worker in brass and he was filled with what wisdom and understanding and cunning to walk in all works in brass and he came to king solomon and wrote all his work he started as a widow's son but skill took him to a point where solomon said come and work for me the bible captured that information he was a widow's son his father taught him because his father was a craftsman and died and although a widow's son his skill bailed him out now to be in the palace he didn't look for the king the king that means every king is searching you say nobody's looking for me it's not true you are not the kind they are looking for king solomon sent for hiram he said come prove your skill prove your worthiness nobody finds a skillful man with character and cannot forego any other excess to keep that person it's true
many believers have character but they don't have skill character is important but it's not character that turns products into services it will take skill nobody will bring you into their company to come and destroy them and the only thing you are doing is praying that's important but they didn't hire you as a prayer warrior they hired you to be productive 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 you can tell them everybody who is stealing in the store no problem but what result are you producing otherwise you follow those who stole and, and you go your offenses you are not productive their offense is that they are thieves two of you the door is open for you to go listen to me competence will pay you again and again let competence be your employer give your cv to competence and it will pay you you will never go on strike once for the rest of your life mediocrity mediocrity will always produce beggars it's a deception it looks like you are there but you are not there many preachers love god but they are not skilled many business people are not skilled listen to me many career people are not skilled value your virtue your character that's important but you must be competent you want kings to eat your food you must know how to cook food for kings not men you want kings to part and i hope you know that you have not arrived until kings patronize you the proof you are successful is when you serve kings the gatekeepers of the mountains they are the ones who don't ask how much no you rise from the realm of everybody asking how much to men who say you are too useful i won't let you go all oh, that will find men and women here who desire to grow listen please do not let anybody trivialize the place of diligence and competence being skillful at something be a master at your field ministry is not for lazy people ministry is not for people who tried everything and failed and just came and just received the anointing there is a skill even in the dispensing of the anointing preaching has a skill you try it and find out how many people listen to you africa let's wake up our incompetence will continue to whip us again and again we compare ourselves with ourselves i am better than this i am better than that if you get 10 over 100 and you are the highest you still failed you are just the highest of the failures listen you must be competent from a global reference benchmark yourself globally don't benchmark yourself within your territory sometimes our territories are so mediocre we don't have to do much to be that recognized you're a businessman know your craft back and forth you're a career person tell yourself you will rise to the best The confidence that knowing a thing gives you is something only God can help you understand. I've met people who know what they are doing. Boy, there is, there is an aura of favor, a compelling presence that competence brings. Make up your mind that you will not stand at the gate of life and be chewing your finger. No, pay the price avoid premature manifestation sit down get something that even kings will give you a right hand of fellowship they will say we are great but you have seen all of us we have not seen all of you welcome they will welcome you by themselves you are a tailor so well you are a farmer farm well you are a public speaker speak well you are not the only one there and you are not going to pay yourself respect those who will hear you don't talk in a way that only you will understand are we together you are a scholar don't be lazy stretch to the zenith of your profession 
say i will be competent say it competence is more than a desire you must outsource the information that give you an advantage in your field you are the best because of the scarcity of what you know don't find the things that are general find the things only few know that becomes your edge please listen to what i'm telling you i'm speaking especially to our brothers you must cause the spirit of laziness and mediocrity from your life prayer is no excuse for mediocrity mediocres in our world today are those who will beg for bread and be they are the ones who will be writing all kinds of stories about successful people because of the pain and the effect that other people's success will cause on them make up your mind i vowed a vow unto god that i will never be a preacher that will have to go back and bury my head in shame find out what it takes to excel and give your all and give your best it may take a while don't worry conquer pain in your life do not ever let pain be an interruption to your success pain does not kill burn the candles if you need to listen to me burn the candles if you need to wake up in the night if you need to buy the books take the certifications go for the trainings I can cook for who who can pay you I can sew for who I have a hotel for who a restaurant for who I'm a good preacher who can listen to you can men of God listen to you or is it only those who want to be born again I'm a keynote public speaker who can demand you so much that no price of hosting you becomes too much listen you know you are valuable when no amount placed on you becomes an inconvenience the moment people begin to compare price and you and say Kai, is this not a bit too much is proof that you have plateaued on your value step up there are people that there is no amount to host them that becomes a waste their presence is like the presence of God one hour with them you must change you will never be the same it has nothing to do your own is to just make sure you are in contact with them the excellency of the information they supply you will beat your ignorance to its knees you will think you are just going to receive one or two things oh goodness in five minutes they will they will embarrass your pride by making you see how ignorant you are when you become like such people gentiles will come to your light you hear me challenge you all the time i will never become a pastor of weak people i've taught you how to pray and know god but i want you to be successful why must they think about you when they are downsizing it's a reflection of your value be as scarce as gold the same way people queue in front of a filling station they are not complaining the pump does not talk they need the oil so much they need the foil they will stay from morning till night to fill their tanks and pay you and still tell you thank you may god make you so valuable in the name of jesus preachers be so valuable and you will never beg for bread your blessings will come from the people you have raised you are not raising anybody there is no bread for the future listen to me carefully you are not raising anybody there is no bread for the future there are men of god who are recycling the same kind of knowledge those who are growing know where they are getting it from when they are blessed they will go there raise men when people complain all around and say uh, why should you know people be blessed why should a young man be blessed why should, what what are you saying when you raise people they become too grateful to ignore you please listen to what i'm teaching you it's important don't sit down and ask how can i rise it is valuable people who rise when you become the delight of many 
do you not know there is an aura of beauty that value brings upon your life you become difficult to ignore people will overlook anything be like water ah be like cold water on a sunny day how far can you ignore that the water is not what is suffering the effect of the sun on you will make you say how much did you say it is at 150 why because it's cold you are wicked oh but you will still buy it pray in one minute and say lord make me valuable make me valuable oh god take me out of the rat race of life i need time to serve you and your purposes you are showing me the growth systems of the kingdom take me out of the realm of competition let me rise to a dimension that is incontestable lifted by your grace and lifted by understanding is someone praying god is challenging you that may be why your ministry is not growing your call is not what is in doubt it's not just an impartation you need you need to grow it's more than an impartation could that be why your business is not growing it takes more than sincerity champions are not ignorant people champions do not have little knowledge champion have the knowledge that is an endangered species make me skillful skillful hallelujah listen before i go to the last place our time is gone but please spare me a few minutes you need what i'm about to share this is the 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 highest discussion of all we are going to be discussing today before i go there let me advise you always check your result against the level you are going not against the levels available when you preach as a man of god listen to your messages again not just to be edified as a sign of humility but also to learn oh the people were following but i can discern that i, I lost them here okay next time how can i adjust I think there is a psychology to my communication i need to know when the people are tired i need to know when i've exhausted their understanding my creativity is small i need to step up on it please don't be lazy please don't be lazy in the name of jesus sit down in the name of jesus sit down get books right wake up in the night stop snoring your night away sit down and learn buy the truth sell it not god gave you phones go and download or buy apps that can help you sit down burn the candles while you pray and you will watch the gates of your destiny open unhindered by whatever kind of factor you think can hinder it i made a vow to myself that i will not be small i shouldn't stand before kings and be ashamed do your homework and you will not need to be afraid fear is for those who are not prepared a workman that needed not to be ashamed take away the shame that incompetence brings take away from your life the shame that mediocrity brings please receive grace to sit down and do your homework sit down and do your homework are we blessed number four the last key this is so powerful you must understand men let me take you to the world of men and teach you a few things men the fourth key to your growth is the understanding of men you must understand men 
as a species as an entity please listen god is giving us wisdom now luke chapter 16 the first eight verses nine really but eight we'll just stop at the first eight verses profound wisdom jesus is teaching again the rabbi no wonder he is called he's not only wise remarkably intelligent jesus is teaching us something to understand men are you ready to learn and he said unto his disciples there was a certain rich man which had a steward and the same was accused unto him that he had wasted his goods <clears throat> follow the story next verse and he called him the rich man now called his steward and said unto him how is it that i hear this of thee give account of thy stewardship for thou mayest no longer be a steward he's about to lose a relationship with a wealthy man that's dangerous for him and the steward said within himself what shall i do for my lord take it away from me stewardship i cannot dig and to beg i am ashamed so what's going to be the way next verse i am resolved what to do that when i am put out of the stewardship they may receive me into their houses are we together now follow the story so he called every one of his lord's debtors unto him so you can see the kind of position he was occupying and said unto the first how much owest thou my lord six remember jesus is the one telling us this story and he said an hundred measure of oil and he said unto him take thy bill and sit down quickly and write 50. hi write what <laughs> and he said to another how much do you owe and he said a hundred measures of wheat and he said unto him take your bill and write 80. and the lord commended the unjust steward because he had done uh oh uh oh uh oh uh oh i'm glad that i'm not reading from one zodiac book this is your bible you have it and the children of this world are in their generation talk to me wiser than the children of light that's the message the morale is not his approach the morale was his his idea the method was wrong the the wisdom was not how he did it the wisdom was the fortitude to understand that I'm about to lose something, but I've not lost it if I have relationships. So he said, whatever I can do very quickly, because the secret to my continuity is in the hands of men. If I lose one man and I gain his friends, I still have him. Listen carefully. And he was commended as being wise. His dubious attitude was not the wisdom the discernment to connect with people and use what is a representation of favor god told us what to do the moment you have opportunity use opportunity to build relationships you preserve opportunities by investing opportunities in relationships listen carefully you must understand the world of men. Woe betides anybody who does not understand men. Your wealth is stored in men. Your lifting depends on men. Your increase depends on men, not just God. If you know God and you don't know men, you will still stay small. Understand men, growth systems. Let me teach you three dimensions of understanding men very quickly. Number one, learn the expected behaviors for every environment. It's called the law of protocol. You are learning wisdom that will change your life. Some of you will begin to apply it from this night. Every environment has a system of protocol, has an expected behavior. You are not qualified to remain in that environment 
until you study the protocol of environment you go to preach in a church learn the expected behavior you enter a house learn the expected behavior you stand before a great man who can bless you before you get to him understand the protocol many believers are ignorant of the expected behavior and they step into certain circles and step out there are preachers that have gone to certain churches to preach and they did not understand the expected behavior they preach well but they will never go back to those circles again is god blessing us in jewish days when you came to someone's house from a long journey you were never allowed to enter with a dusty feet you would stand outside and their way of honoring you was that they had men servants who would come with water and oil and a sponge they would wash your feet and clean it with toil as a proof of honor and then you are now authorized to get into um, the place to stay it's a principle many people do not know expected behavior you meet a wealthy man and they tell you this is a millionaire and he says sir anything for the boys sorry yo. he will give you something but you lost the relationship what he gave you will finish because you just showed him that what he has is greater than him in your eyes and he said you have it and go everybody say expected behavior you can't be going for a job interview and dress as if you are going to a movie theater there is a persona there is a protocol this is our ignorant generation we don't have regard for these things you're going to submit a proposal for a business that is worth 100 million naira and you enter with palms and he sheds that is a bit torn and say i'm a free person you are out no right thinking person born of a woman and trained under an intelligence system will host you i've taught you that appearance is the seed for acceptance you minimize controversy when you appear well understanding men I'm teaching you growth systems listen you must understand the diplomacy of managing greatness diplomacy is not compromise you will have the opportunity to stand near great people who will bless you who are not born again they may be vulgar in their communication they may even be sarcastic you can stand near a man as a married woman who is a wealthy um, man but has no regard for family and he can be explicit even in his talk you don't just look at him and say see i'm a child of god i'm a i'm a daughter of zion mm -mm, mm -mm. take it easy take it easy there are some times that your your answer should be with your body not your mouth your body language can speak it's very important i have one of one of the blessings that god gave me is the intelligence to understand atmosphere you must be of quick discernment to understand atmosphere i taught you this um um esther knew the right time to talk there are wives who never receive from their husbands because they don't know when to ask any time is not the right time me i say my mind that's how i am that's why you are, you are where you are those who say their mind have all have been receiving a lot of things unfavorable most of them there were times jesus kept quiet even when he had what to say then he would say okay he who does not have stone have sin cast the first stone there are times that jesus looks at a man and he's about to leave his crusade to follow one man jesus have you started worshiping men a centurion comes to you and you say no don't worry i know that i'm praying for the rest but i will honor you wow and 
yet he's no respecter of persons he looks at a short and a little man called Zacchaeus who climbs a tree and has a lot of regard for his sacrifice and his honor and he says Zacchaeus you have dishonored yourself too much to honor me please come down it's your house i'm going to i must reciprocate this i want to build a relationship with you there are people whose interest i must protect you represent a gate let's go your house is worth a crusade let's go and zacchaeus by himself instead of jesus on the tree saying i will see you but will you forgive this guy he said let's go to your house that honor alone made him say I will forgive these people bank people are very wise sometimes when they want to come and ask you to open an account with them and you're a big person they don't just send you a text they visit you say how are your birthday it was yesterday say no it was last week oh last week so how are you how is everything i mean uh, the weather is hot they are wise expected behavior by yourself you will start asking them so how is the service is beautiful we are doing absolutely well in fact there's no other time in the history of the bank that we have been this night you say you mean it yes in fact we were hoping since you brought the issue let's talk that's why they came up and they are making it look as if it's a side talk many believers are not diplomatic there are times you don't ask by asking you ask by doing what is equivalent to asking oh, oh, oh your lifting has come oh, oh, oh your lifting has come oh, 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 oh. so to understand men you must understand the protocol of every system learn it i can tell you this i can look at your life and unashamedly tell you the areas where you are not living by the word of god it's not a lie and being sincere with us is that all right so that we don't come and lie and fall under the anointing and sweep the ground and get up and go back we are not living by the word god is my witness ask those who are close to me everything god blesses me with before i think of anything the tithe, god's portion is out i don't practice it i live by it it's a law there's no man who jumps up and continues going up you must come down it's a law are we together now why will you keep punishing yourself by fighting the laws that are older than your existence why fight the laws of god why not come into alignment i have learned the excellency I found myself many times violating the laws of the kingdom and my goodness the experiences have been nasty align yourself with the laws of the kingdom and you will find freedom true freedom they know not the Bible says neither will they understand it says they grow up in darkness and the whole earth is out of course wisdom it is wisdom that brought many of us here are we together listen when Saul lost his father's when his father's donkey was missing Saul and one other person and the servant they were on their way to look for it they tried looking for it by themselves and they had to acknowledge and say look every knowledge we know as far as recovery is concerned we have exhausted it he said see let us take another alternative that's what brought many of us here there are many people who will not humble themselves to say see i have tried this situation i don't know whether it's demonic 
or is my own but at least let me go to an atmosphere where i can find explanation if you do this you are wise are we together if you do this you are wise and they said there is a man of god let's go and meet him even if we are wrong let us find somebody who can tell us we are wrong notice everybody who met a man of god to solve their problem the man did more than what they, are, they came for he trivialized their problem look at naman his breakthrough was only seven baths away yet he lived his lifetime suffering i have learned by experience that breakthrough is not difficult it is access to the platform for the breakthrough that is hard but the day you find a place of breakthrough brothers and sisters in 24 hours your captivity of decades can come to an end the price is not to get breakthrough the price is to go to the atmosphere where breakthrough is a possibility that's your price is god speaking to us they went to samuel the major issue was the issue of restoration but when they went to samuel listen all that samuel told them was is it not the donkey it's been found please there are more important issues can you imagine to them that was the big deal let's look for our father's donkey but samuel said leave the issue of donkey i speak or yeah it's been found look at naaman when naaman went to go and meet elisha what did he say go and bath it even come out just go and take your bath seven times ah, he went to take his bath and that was the end of it brothers and sisters tonight many of you are face to face with realities that can wipe your tears of decades but it is for you to recognize your own part has been done by coming to the atmosphere now step back and allow God to step in you see that your own part there are few prophets that I've met in my life true prophets one day I met a man of God a true prophet of God and I was explaining a few things to him areas of confusion here in my life do you know that before I would talk to this man he looked at me and smiled he said did God not show you what you are going through now ah. and I just looked at the man he said you are pretending as if God did not show you but did he not show you the other side too see that yeah go and take the yellow book among your books read it now page 70 that's where god gave you the prophetic word that's he said please this issue is not the issue we're discussing let's discuss the next level of ministry how is koinonia do you, this is a prophet speaking to me ah. how about the dream you had of the next level this is what we're discussing i went for something else i'm hearing something else that's the character of a true man of god some of you now have carried the problem my rent oh god and god is saying not rent i'm going to give you an anointing to start up a business you came for, how much is rent 250 i know it's a mountain to you but don't joke with god once you are in that atmosphere expect him to do more expect him to do more hallelujah there is one requirement from you tonight that requirement is to accept that you need help that's the last thing i would require from you if you can accept before god and say lord i've tried everything i know to do i know that this thing is not as hard as it is but i submit myself to your wisdom you have changed the lives of people within 24 hours you have brought restoration and healing and hope for people brothers and sisters that sickness can leave that it has stayed 20 years does not mean that's how to stay you can choose to hear this word from god and argue it and just say well nice preaching your problem only affects you i hope you know but you can tremble at his word and say this is the key one prayer that God will never reject is the cry of mercy from a man who needs his help. When a man comes to the end of his life, 
I have come to the end of myself. I have come to the end of myself. I have come to the end of myself. When you come to that point and you say, Lord, you spoke to me that I'm going to be a kingdom financier. I'm short of ideas. I've come to the end of my life. Lord, I need direction. I don't know whether it's job now or marriage. I don't know whether it's Zaria now or, or, or I'm going to London or I'm going to Calabar or I'm staying in, 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 in Kogi State. I need direction. You will never, never receive direction and help from God by default. Jesus Christ saw blind Bartimaeus. He passed him as if he didn't see him. Blind Bartimaeus said, Thou son of David! I'm sure people said, keep, keep, keep quiet. The guy cried the more. He said, wicked people, you have eyes. I'm, I'm, I'm blind. Tonight, you may be going through all kinds of things. Brothers and sisters, the power of God is available. You have taken the first right step to come to the atmosphere. The second step is surrender. You must receive his help because you can reject it. You can reject the help of God. Before we begin to pray, Papa Adeboye shared a story and talked about a man who was on a wheelchair. And that man was on a wheelchair. And people kept giving the man money. He became rich because every time people would give him money. And then one time during a program, Papa Deboe looked at him and he was moved with compassion by the Holy Spirit. And he was going to pray for him. And he, he was led to ask him, do you want to be well? The man said no. He looked at him, ah, be well? Why should I stand up when my life has changed on this chair? And truly the man told him, all I want is money. I don't want to be well. I think eventually the guy got healed and he was angry. That's according to Papa Deboe. He said the guy was angry because he said, now I will have to work for myself. No excuse again. Take over. Take over. I have come to the end of myself. Take over. Take over. I have touched the end of myself. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I have come to the end of myself. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I have come to the end of myself. Take over. Take over. I have come to the end of myself. Take over. Take over. I have touched the end of myself. Hallelujah, hallelujah, I have come to the end of myself. Hallelujah. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Say, Lord, I need help. Mention the areas you need his help. If you don't need any help, pray for Koinonia. Pray for the ministry. Lord, I need help. Pray. I need help in my marriage. Pray. I need help in my finances. I need help in my academics. I need help on my job. Are you praying? Thou son of David, I cry for your mercy.
Era bosona marana masoda da 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 da. Era barara da da. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Second prayer point. Lord, I know it is within your power to help me. I ask for your help. Let your power address my case tonight. Lift your voice and pray. Lord, I know. Oh, it is within your power to give me a husband. It is within your power to give me a wife. It is within your power to cause my business to flourish. It is within your power to bring restoration. It is within your power to give me a child. It is within your power to cure HIV. It is within your power to deliver me. Oh, pray. It will put a new song in your mouth. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. One last prayer point. We are going to cry for grace. I just showed you your contribution to your failure. You must take responsibility and say, Lord, I take responsibility and I receive grace to make the adjustments. There's nothing embarrassing about it. From all that I've said, you know the area that affects you. Say, Lord, I take responsibility. The part you cannot do for yourself, you will do. But the part that is your responsibility, you must take responsibility. Lift your voice and pray. Lord, we take responsibility in the name of Jesus. We receive fresh determination, fresh persistence, fresh determination, fresh persistence in the name of Jesus. Lord, we receive the grace to pursue wisdom, to seek wisdom like a jewel. We receive grace to pursue understanding. We receive grace to live by the truths that we know. We receive grace to be convicted. hallelujah hallelujah shortly we are going to begin ministering we'll be very fast today i want to see how we can close on time so we're going straight to the point hallelujah we'll try to do everything very very fast and see how we can beat time as much as possible hallelujah you're going to prophesy what you want to happen to you by yourself are you ready now please i want you to speak it these are instructions from god i know you have been praying in your secret place it's not the same thing you are doing now open your mouth and prophesy everything god will do for you lift your voice and pray i walk out of here healed tonight come on now ss you must leave me tonight as you must leave me tonight confusion must end in my life tonight that idea that i need for my business that idea that i need for promotion that restoration i refuse to walk out of this place without that restoration that mantle 
that renewed spiritual life that clarity that prophetic word Oh, yes, 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 yes. Pray. Pray in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Pray that every spirit from darkness that has held your life, pray that you must be delivered this night every spirit tying your family every spirit tying your progress pray enough is enough he must live my life lord i must be delivered today hallelujah 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 in recent time i have seen tremendous increase of the anointing of the spirit upon my life especially in the area of healing and deliverance i have seen this all my life but i have seen a multiplication of this grace brothers and sisters whatever your challenge is believe me there is an enough anointing to wipe your tears if only you will believe don't be part of those who have come to waste their time there are people standing outside just staring at others forget about them and be focused you know what you are going through miracle service is not it's not a marriage ceremony it's not an album dedication you don't come and just watch and smile you come with anger in your heart and say lord I, I won't go back that way who told you ss cannot be healed who told you as cannot change who told you the the biological problem cannot go who told you you cannot get breakthrough lord jesus we thank you we release this atmosphere to you and your power Lord, I know that you will do amazing things even in this place. We trust you for a quick walk. There are lives, there are destinies that need to be changed. Lord, there are people under all kinds of the influence of strange spirits that have tied their lives. Let not one of them escape the power of the Holy Spirit. There are sick bodies that need to be healed, oh God. Let not one of them escape the healing power of God. There are families that have come with burdens. Lord, I pray. Your people have come with prayer requests. Impossible situations. But they believe in you. So Lord, we give you praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, while the ministration continues, please, if you have not written your prayer requests, make sure that you write them. It's important. It's not a religious formality. It's a revelation that God gave us. Hallelujah. During the dinner, those of us who are workers will have the opportunity probably to experience the testimonies that have come as a result of answered prayers. Hallelujah. So in one minute, just write your prayer request very quickly so that when we start, please, if you are yet to write, let's just give them an opportunity. Please help one another with um, papers. You can feel free to put on your phone, contact your loved ones and tell them to send in their prayer requests if it's possible. There are many who have sent their own hundreds online.
Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Please make sure you write everything. Write everything you are trusting God to do in your life. Hallelujah, 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's a very simple song. Lift your voice and sing it to your maker. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I look at this lady and I see a spirit, a very serious spirit. Hold my hands. The Lord will deliver you huh? from that spirit. Because this is something that wants to destroy your life. Is your sister here? Where's her sister? Is her sister here? Is she here? I need to pray for both of you because I'm seeing an attack coming to your family. There is a spirit that I saw, and this is something that has to do with somebody dying. Hallelujah. Who is here? Where is she? Please, let's save time um, very quickly so that we can. We have to pray. I'm seeing death in your family. This is somebody's obituary God wants to avert. You can help her hold her baby if she won't cry. Hallelujah. I'm going to pray for you. But you specifically, there is a spirit that torments you. I need to pray for you. Leading you into things that you do not want. Hearing a name Femi, not not Pastor Femi. Femi, I'm hearing a name Femi. Femi, who is Femi? Please, if, if I call your case, please just save our time and come quickly. Femi, your name is Femi. Who is a visitor? You are the one from where? Come. From where? Jigawa. Eh? Jigawa. From Jigawa State. Yes. Sir. Came from Jigawa State. Yes. Sir. The Lord is going to set you on fire and yes, take sir. you back there. You didn't just come yes, sir. just for a meeting. I know you just yes, thought sir. you came to receive. I'll call you several times. Sir. Eh? I'll call your number several times. You not be you. <laughs> you will receive that which you desire. Praise the Lord. Amen. My brother, I'm going to pray for you. Victoria. Victoria. I hear a name, Victoria. Please, who is Victoria? Let me just respond. To Victoria. Victoria. There is a Victoria trusting God for a change of genotype genotype 
you're trusting God for a change of genotype. I don't know if it has to do with um, S, S, A, S, anyone like that. This is a Victoria I see. I want to minister to a Victoria that is trusting God for a change of genotype. We have to frustrate come we have to frustrate the power stopping your marriage look at me we have to frustrate the power that is stopping your marriage huh because it's God's desire for you to settle down soonest you understand this is this is the devil is not going to lord it over you we are going to pray please I want you to believe I don't have to call your case I'm just flowing because the Holy Spirit is impressing it strongly upon me and then we'll just get into prayer Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Father, visit this family in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Where is your mother? Who is sick? Who is sick in your family? My mom. Because I'm seeing that, ah, we have to pray. I have, we have to pray. Hmm? This is December. Your mother will just sleep and they will tell you, I'm not a prophet of doom. They will tell you that she's dead. She has been talking about death. We have to rebuke this thing. She has been seeing dead people in her dream. She sleeps and she sees dead people. And they will be stretching their hands towards her and asking her to hold them. Some of them are people who have died before. See, there are families here with those things. But we are going to deal with it. Praise the Lord. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for this family. That spirit of death over the family. In the name of Jesus, we roll it away. We roll it away by the power of the Holy Spirit. And for you, I curse this spirit that is in you. In the name of Jesus, when the time for deliverance comes, the Lord is going to set you free completely in the name of Jesus Christ. I want to pray for you. Your hands are blessed. Listen, your hands are blessed. God expects you to use your hands to bring wealth to yourself. Your hands are blessed. The Lord is saying, I should tell you, that these hands are blessed hands. Are you getting what I'm saying? You have to pray and trust God for ideas. The things that you can do with your hands and He will bless you. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. New level. Come. There is still a time for impartation so you receive it. But two things God is giving you. Number one, God is giving you wisdom. Number two, God is giving you stability. Huh? I see you but I see like a wind. You are here and there. God needs to give you stability. Father, you will give him stability in the name of Jesus. Come, my dear. I pray for you. You will marry a foolish man. Say amen. I curse every spirit delaying her marriage. Now, in the name of Jesus Christ, I rebuke that spirit. Come. Um, I have to pray for you. Hold my hands. Lord, she must be free today. Today is her day of liberty. In the name of Jesus Christ, I rebuke this spirit. You must leave her. I see you in the spirit. Out of her right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. My dear, do you love Jesus? Very well. Huh? Please, he wants you to take him very seriously. Where are you from, my dear? Benway State. Benway State. Is, who is here with you? My brother. Your brother. Where is he? Love. Brother, please, can you come? I want to speak to him just before we start the ministry. Yes. What's his name? Joseph. Huh? Joseph Okotu. Joseph, where are you? I hear the Lord saying he's bringing restoration to your family. That's why I want to pray for you. We are going to pray. The Lord is saying I should tell you he will give you beauty for ashes. Huh? You may not understand the meaning of what I'm saying. But as the days unfold you will see God honor you. Father let there be restoration for this family. You are going to be a great man of God. Great man of God. God is going to put a teaching anointing upon you. Supernatural grace for teaching. Supernatural grace for teaching. Father, step into this family and do miracles. In the 
the name of Jesus. Lift your voice in one minute. Let's begin to pray in tongues. Shiva Please rise up on your feet, everybody. Thank you, Father. Because the oppressed will be delivered by the power of the Holy Spirit. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Please lift your hands. I want to begin to minister. Deliverance is very important. Very, very important. Is the platform that separates you from the spirits and the influences. You see, sometimes some of you do not even know that your lives are under um, certain levels of, of, of bondage. But then you will need the grace of God. You will need the wisdom of God. You will need His grace to give you direction. And I'm going to pray for you right now. My goodness, the power of God is strong in this place. So many people inside and outside it will surprise some of you because you do not even know now listen this deliverance is not just for individuals in fact god is going to start with families that's what i see god doing hallelujah praise the lord you've heard this happen again and again i don't know why god does this but a lady is going to shout under the anointing and this is what will introduce that grace a loud shout by the spirit of the living God lift your hands father thank you for your power and your presence in this place right now in the name of Jesus at the count of three I want everyone to shout Jesus from the depth of your heart I challenge every spirit I challenge every voice and every altar oh God that has kept your people bound that has kept families bound there's no place for escape for you tonight Lord I pray that in a mighty way as your people begin to shout you visit them my goodness the power of god is already coming on people at the count of three one two get ready now get ready three fire upon you right now deliverance fire in the name of jesus receive it receive it help them please help those people right now in the name of jesus inside and outside I release the power of the Holy Spirit the power of the Holy Spirit right now right now right now right now right now I see the power of God along this region right here where the ministers are staying I see the power of God right now I cast that spirit I challenge every power every fraternity from hell that keeps people bound in the name of Jesus hallelujah lift your hands those outside alone those inside you can relax those outside at the count of three I want you to shout Jesus there are people who are tied to covenants I hear covenants in the spirit people tied to covenants as you shout that name it's like a wind that will blow outside and the power of God will begin to set people free. Are you ready now at the count of three? One, two, three. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. We release deliverance outside. We release mighty deliverance. Now lift your hands. You don't have to shout. Just keep it lifted. Hallelujah. I'm going to begin to speak and prophesy. And for all those who are affected, the power of God will begin to touch them. Bring them out here. In the name of Jesus, lift your hands. Now I pray. Every family here, under any spell, every family, Lord, where are they? Right now, let the power of God touch them. Touch them now. Now, now. Right now, in the congregation, every family, under any kind of spell, I bring deliverance right now. I bring deliverance right now. In the mighty name of Jesus. I bring deliverance. Help that lady. I bring deliverance. Right now. Right now. Keep your hands lifted. Right now. 
Father, identify families that have suffered every cause right now in the name of Jesus all over the congregation inside and outside hallelujah keep your hands lifted no instruments just keep your hands lifted I'm going to pray I see fire rolling in the realm of the spirit now that fire listen that fire is going to come upon individuals i'm hearing stagnation that's what i'm hearing please keep your hands lifted inside and outside lord wherever those people are get set right now as i speak the fire will burst and begin to touch people stagnation wherever they are shake it, 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 it. begin to touch them right now by that fire receive it right now right now right now right now right now all over the building in the name of jesus christ that spirit of stagnation that has been responsible i see some people being touched outside i see people being touched outside hallelujah this row lift your hands just this row lift your hands the lord is asking me to stretch my hands towards you the moment i stretch my hands the power of god will move in dramatic ways and i'm hearing in my spirit breakthrough that's what is coming please make sure you believe at the count of three i want you to shout jesus it will be a mighty move of the spirit lord i do as you have instructed and at the count of three let there be breakthroughs one, two, three. Help them, please. We command it in the name of Jesus. Bring them out. lift your voice and begin to pray every force that has tied down my life you must leave me right now pray as some of you are praying the power of god will be touching you every spirit that is responsible Make sure you are praying. Hallelujah. Please lift your hands. Only the ladies. I want to pray for you. Only the ladies. A woman represents a gate in the spirit. And there are many ladies. Whose gates are tied and closed. But the Bible says to open up the two leaf gates. It will surprise you what will happen to many of you right now. Please keep your hands lifted. Father, I pray in a mighty way, let every lady's destiny that has been closed at the count of three, as they shout Jesus, let those gates be open. Get set now, ladies. One, two, three. Open now. Open now. Open now. Shake it, shake it up my goodness i see padlocks opening that's what i'm seeing in the spirit open up those gates in the name of jesus open up those gates open up those gates now open up those gates now open up those gates now in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Listen. Lift your voice and violently pray in one minute. And command that spirit to leave you. Go ahead and pray please. By the power of the Holy Spirit. 
you must leave my family just keep praying it's a new season by the anointing of the Holy Ghost every unclean spirit attaching itself to our lives hallelujah hallelujah praise the Lord who came with this woman I'm seeing a spirit tying this woman watch this who came with mama out of her hold my hands mama listen she can't walk hold on mommy this woman cannot walk well you see this who don't worry Mom. stroke look at this how many of you believe god can do a miracle for this woman i command the spirit right now that spirit leave this woman right now in the name of Jesus she doesn't hear very well too in the name of Jesus I command the ears to be open mommy look at me lift your leg just carry it lift your leg carry it come come walk come 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 look at this walk by yourself come come look at this look at this look at this give Jesus praise give Jesus praise hallelujah listen she doesn't hear very well mama Jesus Jesus Jesus, Jesus. come on give Jesus praise Give Jesus praise. Give Jesus praise. Come, Mama. Look at this. You know that this is a spirit that has tied this woman. In the name of Jesus Christ, we end captivity. Stretch your hands and pray that the Lord will perfect everything that concerns her. This is somebody's mother. Pray in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. hallelujah mama this mama come your time of breakthrough has come hold on look at what's wrong with you my leg cannot open your leg cannot this open leg, uh, this leg uh, how long 20 something years 20 how many years uh, who knows her years. you know you are their son come now you come and stand close to your mother how many years more than 20 years where are you from we are from sabongari mama you believe jesus will touch yes, you yes sir i tell you there is nothing jesus cannot do yes, there is sir. the anointing you believe it yes sir say jesus jesus heal me heal me say jesus jesus heal me heal me father you died for this reason right now in the name of jesus christ let there be healing right now look at what is happening to her in the name of Jesus mama hold my hands walk come 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 try to climb now lift your leg try to lift it it didn't used to open before oh I see okay okay go ahead in the name of Jesus Christ lift it and do what you could not do just do it do it open the other one in the name of Jesus God is already giving you a miracle by the power of the Holy Spirit can you see a miracle happening she could not open the leg completely could not open it in the name of Jesus Christ look at look at this God is giving this woman a eh? before she said she, she could not stand for five minutes I cannot stand for five minutes but right now God is touching you your back will be paining you in the name of Jesus Christ, this perfection has started. That back ache, I lay my hands and I release the anointing. In the name of Jesus Christ, just keep under the anointing. She will stand up and check herself. Hallelujah. I'm seeing another mother. I don't know why God is visiting our mothers right now. I'm seeing, Mama, please come. Can I talk to you, Ma? Somebody help that woman. Please, 
don't if we talk to you speak whatever language you can speak there will always be somebody to interpret it it doesn't have to be that you must speak english whose, whose mother is this eh? well done mommy what's what's the issue what brought her here she has been complaining of different illness mama what's wrong with you i got a bp i got a bp this something day my blood they move like this as I'm looking at our mother, Mama, as I look at you, I'm seeing something like a snake all around your stomach. That thing starts moving. Is that? And then it comes towards your chest area. Then sometimes you feel pain at your back here. That devil will leave you right now. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. You believe in Jesus? I'm going to pray that God will use this lady. Because I looked at her and I just saw a dove rise from her. You, what's your name? Faith. Faith. Yes, sir. You will be a woman of faith. You believe that? Let me pray for you. Father, anoint this lady. Let your power come upon her in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray that God will use you mightily. Mama, let's pray for you. Lay your hands on your chest, please. In the name of Jesus Christ, God is healing you right now. High blood pressure high blood pressure and every other sickness I rebuke it right now and I command the spirit that oppresses you to live in the name of Jesus Christ by the power of the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah now listen if you know you are involved in anything whether maybe you have a shop you are in business and nothing is working just lift your hands I want to pray for those people right now that's what the Holy Spirit is telling me. Please believe. Why is she out? Come, you're a mother. We can't keep you standing there. Let me just attend to her. Please, you don't have to come out. We'll attend to you. Whose mother is this? My son is outside. Your son? Okay, what's, what can Paul, we do for you? Paul. I'm weak from here downwards. You are weak from? Um, my waist downwards. downwards. But you can walk, it's just that the pain is there. The pain, I used to feel pain. I can't sit for long unless I lie down. I can't stand for long. Okay, Mama, just clear the way. Let Mama, you are her son, you are welcome. Let her just sit down there. We will soon pray for the sick. When it's time, you just bring her there so that you can hurry up. Praise the Lord. Uh, please, you don't have to come out. We are going to Listen, listen. We are going to pray. We we'll invite people to come out now. Well, I'm going to pray for the sick. I'll lay hands on all of you. Praise the Lord. So that we can just hurry up. If we do it one by one like this, we may not have all the time. Um, but why, why is she coming? Uh, my problem is one year. I'm eating with a dream. You are yes. eating the dream? Yes. Food, you mean? One year now. For one year non-stop? Today's 15 days, my stomach, my back, in the pain. I know be sleep. I know be eat. Last, uh, last week, uh, Friday, I enter hospital. They give me medicine. I don't take all the medicine. Never stop. Well, we we'll pray. Jesus Christ will set you free. In the name of Jesus. Mama, you two, just go and sit down there. Please, no our mothers don't worry when we start praying for the sick this is what we'll do we may give room so that we we'll start with some of our elderly ones so that they can go back they may not have that strength will that be fine so as you line up if you see any elderly man or woman you can just push them forward so that we minister to them and then they can go and sit down hallelujah praise the lord but lift your hands now i want to release breakthrough i mean i, I mentioned the case right now I will praise him. I will sing to him a new song. I will praise him. I will sing to him a new song. I will praise him. I will sing to him a new song. And I will praise him. I will sing to him a new song. 
Keep your hands lifted that has tied down your business or the works of your hands. Some of you will feel fire on your hand, literal fire. It will start burning on your hands right now. In the name that is above all names, I pray as that fire comes on your hand, ideas begin to come to you. Receive it now in the name of Jesus. Receive it now in the name of Jesus. Receive it now in the name of Jesus. It's already happening to people right now. It's happening to people. The fire is coming on people. Help this brother, please. The fire is coming on people right now. Your hands, ideas, ideas. This fire represents ideas. Receive it right now. Receive it right now. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now, as we pray for the sick i know there are many people here who are sick please be orderly as you come while that is happening every prayer request please pass it over to the ushers you have your prayer request you can use the time to call some of your loved ones by the way when we begin to prophesy for some of you who have your loved ones at home you can put on the phone and connect with them honestly if they have the faith to receive and they believe They'll be surprised at what happens to them you are trusting god for a healing miracle make your way to the front now and begin to pray there is a god that heals here yes mama please don't cry can you get a handkerchief please help our mother with this handkerchief Please make your way to the front. It's called a miracle service. Look how many people are trusting God for healing. Forward all the elderly ones to the front. Please, all our elderly ones. around and I realized that you've been so good to me standing here can we begin to talk to the Lord and say father please who am I that you are mindful of me who am I that you hear my cry when I call you how can I love you more know you more source of my strength now you the strength of my life my hope and my joy my confidence now you you're the source of my life the strength of my life my hope and my joy my confidence show you look at this oh my god put the camera here look at this can you see this person bring the person here look at this this is death already look at this i think you can can they see it on camera look at this you know that this is this is this is already this is an obituary 
her mother. This is her mother crying. Who is her mother? Why did the mother stay outside now and bring the Oh, she went to bring Matt. They brought the girl on his. What's wrong with her? She has been sick for over six months now, but they have been not they have not able to no diagnosis. You will look at her and think it's HIV. Brothers and sisters, hear me. When a spirit enters a man, it leaves out his character through that person. Okay, let's let's hear from the mother, please. What language can she speak? Kurama. Who is Kurama here? Huh? You are, please. Don't can she speak Hausa? Mama Ki Hausa? Rabuda Suki Hausa? We will never put pressure on anybody. If she can't speak Hausa, she'll speak her language. Um, what is wrong with her? What's the issue with the baby? Uh-huh. Cancer. Cancer. Uh -huh. Eight. Eight. Uh -huh. Cancer. The eight. Look up. Uh, Basr. Basr. What's that? Uh -huh. Pile. Cancer. HIV. Uh -huh. Look at this. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Tell her she brought. She brought her expecting. No, no, no. Don't worry. Tell her she came expecting Jesus to touch her. Jesus, oh Kina. Kana Osa. So say, Kede Nani. Kasuna. Kede Kasuna, she never hear Osa. But is that not your language? Mama Kerkita, we are going to pray for her now. Oh, we are going to pray for her. Just clear the way. Can she hear? Kana Ji. How old is she? You would think this girl is, is 10 years, she's 30 years. 30 solid years. Supposed to be married, right? With her children. She's married with two children. Oh my god. Huh? Mama? Okay. This is cancer, HIV, at a terminal state. The source of my strength, now you. Strength of my life, now you. My hope and my joy, now you. Hey, my confidence, now you. Source of my life, now you. Strength of my life, now you. My hope and my joy. My dear, can you speak English? Can you speak English? No, don't worry. Can you hear me? You can hear me. You believe Jesus can touch you? Do you believe that? Don't cry. Don't cry. Jesus is able to touch you. Father, show this lady mercy. In the name of Jesus, I curse that devil by the blood of Jesus Christ I command that spirit of infirmity that devil of HIV that devil of cancer I command you to leave her in the name of Jesus Christ I will ask you people to help her get up eventually my dear look at me look at me in the name of Jesus Christ I release strength to you strength to you strength to you try to move your hands or your leg go ahead try to move your hand or your leg if you can do you have enough strength for that can she hear me she's so weak she can't even hear me it's well just leave her to lie down with the glory as i pray for other people i mean she's so weak she cannot even hear me God, the devil is wicked listen i assure you that whatever it is What's that? Okay, the request. Don't worry. We'll pray for you. Hallelujah. Just leave her to soak in the glory here while she gets some strength and try to lift her up and see what happens. 
Father, I pray for everyone here. Let the power of God touch them. In the name of Jesus Christ. Everyone came. Please be patient. You don't have to rush. The Lord himself will touch you. You came for a reason. In the name of Jesus Christ. You don't have to tell me what is wrong with you. If I ask you, you can tell me. But it doesn't matter. The spirit of death is on this woman. But mama, look at me. Come please. What's wrong? I brought myself. You brought yourself. Yes. What's wrong with you, madam? Now, since uh, where would they for Abuja? Now, the bubble, where the bomb will blow. So, what? I'm I'm selling something for Nyanya. Yeah. I'm selling food with you. Where the bomb will blow for that side? Bomb. And, oh, uh, bomb blast. Yes, I now fall down. I know I cannot get out. They're telling me to go hospital. Oh, the bomb, bomb blast that happened in Nyanya. Yes. So, it affected you. Eh. Uh, so I can't get up. They carry me go hospital. So, uh, I spent four months go no go. They carry me go flying place. He collected uh, fifty thousand. Go no they go. They carried you go where? Uh, flying man. May go treat me. Say hospital no figure. A doctor. Oh, have a list. Eh. Uh, okay. Man. It's okay. The flying man collected fifty thousand. You know I've said it again. Please hear me. Listen. Let me let me press it down. Any man. I don't care who. Who tells you to bring money to get a miracle? Even if it's me, run away. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Mama, our mothers, I'm begging you in the name of Jesus Christ. Any man, any priest, any prophet, any pastor, any apostle, any human being, herbalist, whoever, that asks you to give him money so that you give him miracle, tell him, Joshua Selman said he's a thief. He's not a man of God. Are we together? And now we start the cure the thief. The... If you give me medicine, I drink, I will bring bad, bad dream in the night. So, stay like that, four months, go and no go. The man now tell me to bring 30,000 again. I say, I know even see food. That should bring 30,000 again. Uh, I know see food to to my children again now. And I'll start the bed, the man, no grief. That man, me, I'm a girl for some yeah. room before. We Mommy, for some what, what? Now, I can't some, I can't some room here. Come and say, come and I'll work for prayer to prayer. But at the year prayer for you, when they say, I come, I know they, I know they come. I'll just lie down, they pick pain every time. Do you know that there are spirits that stop men from going to the place of their breakthrough? Have you seen people that you try to bring for koinonia? On your way going, they just change their mind. It's not them. There is a spirit. I tell you, that you make your way here alone is a sign that God is ready to visit you. What, what, what exactly? I must enter today. I must enter as I just uh, come out for road. The so, machine just come. You say, Where the grass and at this church? He says, Oh, make a go, make a go in offer. Welcome, the usher people. Say, Well, they go, they go to my church. I know people work These people can serve God, then they carry me from machine down. They hold my hand. God Carry's bless our me. ushers. I sit down. When I sit down, finish. They come there and ask me, say, make no hurry to enter. So, and now when they start the play, I enter through gate. That I just stand up with my, with my Now this one, they take stand, because all this side, you know. And now suddenly stand up. Yeah. Stand. God, come give me, I come there. Strength. My power. What, what power. part of your body is not working very well? Yes. Now? What part? Yeah, I go so. Oh, your, oh, I see. Father. It's, it's okay, madam. Ma Mama, uh, we, we get what is wrong with you now. Eh? In Jesus' name, we'll pray for you. If... She couldn't walk, oh. There is a spirit at work in you. That spirit will leave you now. I command that devil, leave her. You think it's bomb blast. But, oh, she could not walk, oh. They had to carry her, and now she's even standing. That's even a miracle. In the name of Jesus. Madam, look at me. Hold my hands. I minister strength to you. Look at me. Come. Come. Help her. In the name of Jesus. Walk. I will hold you. Walk. Okay, look at me. Look at me. Start walking by yourself. Come. Came on a bike. Could not walk. Come. Slowly. Just take it slowly. Look at this. 
you can see that it's happening gradually gradually these hands were paralyzed madam look at me try to lift it up go ahead go ahead lift it lift it lift it look at this lift it lift it drop it down lift it again lift it again completely paralyzed completely paralyzed look at look at this look at this look at this a miracle is happening do what you couldn't do the devil is a liar the more you take that step of faith the more you see God stepping in father this miracle is perfected in her body in the name of Jesus Christ God bless you just keep exercising her we we'll have to pray please any special case who we'll minister at our time is gone I saw the spirit of death she was supposed to die in that bomb blast I didn't even know it was Nyanya bomb blast that Boko Haram bomb blast may you never be a victim of any man's wickedness in the name of Jesus Christ the moment I pray for you please as you return back check yourself and do what you couldn't do before if it's a striking striking testimony we'll just take it here worship team lead us through sessions of worship as we pray in the name of Jesus Christ thank you Jesus short of blood I look at you sir and your face has changed to the face of a cat this is what licks your blood this is what I'm seeing this is demonic you understand what I'm saying there was a time you had a dream and a dog was following you dog dog was pursuing you and I need to pray for you because this is a manifestation of the spirit of death in the name of Jesus Christ I command that spirit that devil of darkness to leave Please stand in and connect for your loved ones. We have so many people. Let's see how far we can. stretch your hands at this baby and let's close this hole in the name of Jesus you will have a child make sure you are praying 
one month two weeks a hole in his heart if god does not step in this baby will either die or something will happen i tell you we are the church of the lord jesus christ we can agree father we reject this we reject this as you are rejecting it for this child so it will be in your life reject it lord your church is praying we change this report baby we speak to you baby you will not die you will not die you will not die we close this hole hallelujah go and check him don't cry don't cry eh? you are not going to lose your baby in the name of Jesus Christ amen we are going to pray it's going to be very very fast as I lay my hands on you just it's just a touch there is a reason why I'm doing this myself and I lay hands on you just a touch the Lord is wiping your tears the Lord is wiping your tears and not just because you are crying physically this woman is coming with so much pains the Lord is wiping your tears now in the name of Jesus out of her that demon that causes pain in the name of Jesus Christ
Submit a prayer request. Ushers, you can begin to bring the prayer request forward. Please, everybody, inside and outside, make sure you don't miss this next session because that's where you get to receive your personal breakthrough. So please, forward the prayer request. If you still have yours, just lift it up and an usher will come to you quickly. Please, guys, let's do this very fast so that we can finish. As hands are being laid on you, I just want you to believe that God is touching you.
This is, this is, it's not a religious activity. It's an instruction that God gave us. Because you see, no matter how I lay hands on everybody one by one, we may not have all the time for everybody to state what their needs are. But then let me tell you something. The truth about it is that I'm not the most important person in this meeting. There is one who is mightier than I. You didn't write this request to Joshua Selman. I will not even read one of them. This is unto the God who can solve problems. Mommy, please come. Yes. I've been looking at this woman and I've been wondering what it is that God, what would you want God to do for you? Would you 
give me a quality spouse to give you a quality spouse this is what i'm looking at this woman and my heart had been drawn to her for a while madam you want to get married because you are not afraid and ashamed to say this in the presence of the people look at me i stake my reputation on this prophecy that i will give you you hear me if a man does not come to marry you go and publish it in the newspaper that i lied you believe what i'm saying i will not implicate myself and be a fool like this because as soon as i looked at you you said spouse i saw a man putting a ring in your hand that's why i'm telling you what i'm saying you believe this be sure to return and give the testimony and everybody be sure to look at her you are seeing her today when she comes back with her husband so you don't say that this is stage managed father in the name of jesus i prophesy it by the power of the holy spirit okay just cover her i'm going to pray let me have okay it's props water i wish there's any other one just to pray on it and then they'll give her she's too weak we can't even test her whether or not but i see her moving her legs and moving all of this this is ordinary okay this is ordinary water we'll just pray on it since that's the only thing she then a child she but a child she say me father i pray that this water will lose its earthly significance and take on a heavenly significance that as she takes this oh god let this be um a cleansing agent let it be like a drug in her body in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ can she hear you ask her how she's feeling now i'm sorry i forget this thing so i'm like yeah, the take a chance. you see she's gaining some strength she couldn't move before but we see her gaining some strength uncle you don't And you see her gaining some strength she's even moving she's pushing her away same issue. something is happening to her look at this are you seeing look at this look at this by herself oh. this is the power of the lord this in itself is a miracle if you saw the way they brought her mama Brother, the Holy Spirit is doing something in her life. My dear, as God grants you grace, you can just be moving your body gradually. We, we prayed on this, and um, Mama Gashi, Abata, Bakuaban is a shark, Amata, Dua, there was a son Abata. If you keep it there, all these children will come and see. Stretch your hands on this prayer request as we pray. Let's pray on this request. Hallelujah. Please stretch your hands and let's ask the Lord to visit us. This is the greatest point of contact to your requests. This is the greatest point of contact to your requests. Father, we are praying right now in the name of Jesus. We are praying by the power of the Holy Spirit. Let there be a miracle. Let there be miracles. Let there be miracles. I'm seeing the Lord giving people miracles of jobs. Jobs. I see employment of jobs. I see a family that dropped a request here something about building a house and it looks like you will not complete it the lord is saying before december 25th you will enter that house please pray father visit me talk to the lord tell him your request is here
Let there be miracles, oh God. Let there be miracles in the name of Jesus. every request here to a testimony in the name of Jesus Christ requests of marriages may they be granted some of you have dropped requests here because the admission list came out and you did not see your name Lord we agree I don't know how you would do it but we agree that there be miracles In the name of Jesus. Lord, we release breakthroughs. We release all kinds of miracles. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please lift your hands as I prophesy. Everyone. I have grown to respect the power of prophecy. I know that for many of you if I tell you which will you choose to prophesy over your life or to lay hands on you you would prefer the laying on of hands because it looks like there is a physical contact not so prophecy is powerful very powerful please I want you to shout amen from the depth of your heart this is where you get to receive everything shout amen this is where the fire gets to fall on your life this is where everybody participates in the name of jesus christ I command breakthroughs to come into your life. Supernatural breakthrough. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Please lay your hands on your head, I pray. Father, mm, this will come mighty on some of you. A baptism of the spirit of wisdom. Receive it now in the name of Jesus. Shake Receive it, receive it, receive it, receive it now. Now, wisdom, help him, please. Wisdom in the name of Jesus. Supernatural wisdom. Understanding. Receive the impartation. Wisdom in business. Wisdom in career. Receive it in the name of Jesus. I pray for anyone who is confused here. Trusting God for direction. In the name of Jesus. May the voice of God come to you. And bring you direction. In the name of Jesus Christ. Everything you have tried and tried to do. And have not been able to do. I speak over your life. Go back and do it again. Go back and do it again. In the name of Jesus. The kind of favor you have not seen from January till now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. May that favor come upon your life. May that favor come upon your life. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Where are the helpers who are supposed to help your destiny and have refused to locate you? Wherever they are, everybody in life needs a helper.
to move to the next level between you and the next level is the ministry of a helper right now everything that has died in your hands i don't care what it is i'm prophesying to you everything that has died in your hands by the anointing of the holy spirit that same voice that called lazarus from the grave right now calls that dying business from the grave calls that dying destiny from the grave in the name of jesus christ everything that is dead in your life comes alive now hallelujah every spirit that torments you and your family in any way in dreams in visions i declare right now they are silenced forever in your life they are silenced forever in your life anyone trusting god for a job or you are standing in for someone trusting god for a job the hands that are lifted in the name of jesus the same way they are lifted above your head that's how they'll be lifted above joblessness in the name of jesus i release jobs by the power of the holy spirit whatever has covered your glory so that it is not seen and celebrated in the name of the lord god of israel i command that veil be torn into pieces every one of your family members that has been locked up by satan and stagnated in one place we release them right now 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 in the name of jesus christ anyone here being eyed by the spirit of death the devil is already planning that you and your family will celebrate christmas in tears we come with a prophetic word and we declare that death cancelled in the name of jesus death is cancelled in the name of jesus death is cancelled in the name of jesus I pray for every business in this place every business every shop every enterprise receive the wisdom of God receive the strength of God in the name of Jesus Christ between now and next week koinonia I pray that everyone will return with at least one testimony in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ I pray for your spiritual life whatever has died in your life spiritually I command a restoration right now restoration of prayer life restoration of word life in the name of Jesus Christ every discouragement in your life and every voice that keeps speaking to you that you will never make it any devil speaking to you that you will be like those who have failed we silence that voice right now by the blood of Jesus every legal access Satan has over anyone's life we declare that that access is broken in Jesus name everyone called barren we bring that barrenness to an end biological barrenness financial barrenness in the name of Jesus Christ where you have failed go back and succeed where they have ignored you go back and be celebrated in the name of Jesus listen I prophesy to you 
you will operate in a level of grace a level of grace that will cause men to look at you like a wonder i speak it upon your life in the name of jesus christ the same grace that can make a man become an object of discussion the grace that can make a man become an object of wonder may it come upon your life i pray for your dreams and visions all the ideas god has been trying to bring that the devil has hijacked in the spirit we command that they must be released they must be released we release the ideas we release the concepts we release the insights in the name of jesus from today i declare that as you speak it may you see it as you speak it may your hands handle it for those who are trusting god for restoration i pray for you i don't know what you have lost i command a tenfold restoration hallelujah believe what i'm telling you some of you it will do you like a dream it will be like you just woke up and say no i'm not the one may it happen to you in the name of jesus christ someone will call you and tell you they have been trying to reach you for a long time just to bless you in the name of jesus christ listen some of you will be sitting quietly in your house that's how favor will come and meet you and take you to another level in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ i bring to an end every struggle in your life by the anointing of the holy spirit i pray for every pastor every leader here grace for the next level those of you who have come from other places take the fire and take it back to your regions take the fire and take it back to your regions in the name of jesus christ nothing dies in your hands nothing becomes barren in your hands in the name of jesus christ favor on all sides blessings on all sides in the mighty name of jesus christ hallelujah now very quickly we're out of time please keep standing everybody there are people here who are saying lord jesus i'm committing my life and my all to you please keep standing everybody no movements around there are people inside and outside here you came for this meeting and you have seen what the lord jesus christ has done and you are saying lord i want to surrender my life i've been living my life the way i want but i want to hand it over to you tonight some of you are giving your life to christ for the first time some of you are rededicating your life you said I've, I've come out once but something has happened in my life wherever you are in the next one minute i know many people outside those inside please join them come out here and i will lead you to give your life to jesus christ wherever you are young old don't sit down wait for anybody koinonia celebrate them make your way to the front don't be embarrassed this is what jesus can do with your life you've given people who are less than him your life why don't you commit everything i know this is not all there are still people inside and outside please make your way quickly god bless you as you come make your way quickly hallelujah while the rest join them god bless you keep coming quickly please hurry up and join them catch up with them it's a decision that will change your life forever we may not know who you are but we know where you are going because with jesus your journey is secured you've lived your life anyhow and you're saying i'm tired of playing games with god i want to make it right there is always room for you the throne is where you start from hallelujah praise the lord jesus i want you to lift your right hand and say after me lord jesus please say it very seriously say lord jesus i love you with all my heart i believe in you tonight i surrender my life completely to you take everything about me use me for your glory in the name of jesus i receive eternal life into my spirit from today i'm not the same person again the power of sin is broken over my life in jesus name father i pray for these ones whose hands are lifted bless them 
they have made a decision for you they remain in you forever give them a new life in the name of jesus christ may the lord bless you in the name of jesus now i'd like you to follow the ushers they are waving their hands they will have your details and they'll welcome you more warmly very quickly madam we're finished praying tap that madam she can follow them hallelujah praise the lord now all those who are worshiping with us for the first time very quickly one minute make your way to the front we want you to go back with an anointing and with a blessing honor them koinonia they are the result of your prayers our mothers our fathers our brothers and sisters thank you so much thank you so much they are the result of our prayers our commitment we prayed and asked the lord to bring you and bless you hello beloved in christ we hope this message was a blessing to you i would want you to do something for us if you are new here kindly hit on that subscribe button for us and then like this video as well share to your family and friends to bless them because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body to their soul and to their spirit we would need you to do one thing for us too tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from and then if you've got any testimony for us kindly share with us thank you for watching